Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'll show you how to enable the hidden folder, the PSP emulator folder for our adrenaline to install games, themes and all sorts of cool stuff through USB connection and I see a lot of people having issues with this so I wanted to do a quick video on how to enable that folder and start installing all of your games and themes to your adrenaline folder which is going to be awesome. So let's go ahead and get started by going into our Vita shell and enable our USB connection. Let's get started with the FTP client and show you that PSP emulator folder. Press start. Make sure my select button is under FTP. Perfect. Let's go back and enable that. Now we're going to go onto our desktop and open up my FileZilla. <clears throat> Let's go into this saved. The PSP emu folder will be found under your UXO folder or in the folder that you have it configured either way on your Vita and here it is the PSP emu folder and here you'll see the ISO folder the PSP folder the SE plugins folder and basically all the folders you'll find when you connect your PSP your old PSP to your PC and here's PSP here's my game folder and all the different emulators and games I have installed and here's my themes folder too all ready to go. Let's go back on our Vita and enable the USB connection. Let's cancel this out. Press select. Go to USB. Let's go to our desktop. Here is our PS Vita USB drive and all of our folders. And I don't see that PSP emu folder at all. Going into view and checking hidden items will not work. So what we're going to do is go into this options section here, go to the drop down, change folder and search options. And from here, we're going to go to view tab, go down to hidden protected operating system files recommended. We're going to uncheck that and you will have a warning uh, window pop up. Just say yes, hit apply, hit OK. And there it is, our PSP emulator folder. There's our ISO. Here's our game folder, our themes folder. And even though it's faded, we can still use and add all sorts of files into it, no problem. And that is how you enable your PSP emu folder. And that is it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys on the next one.